Hello Libra, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And I am running a same day reading special for you guys. It's a three question recorded video reading for $25. And you will receive that reading within 24 hours from purchase. And everything you need to know, if you're interested, is posted on the community page for you guys. Now, while I get these shuffled up, if I can keep them in my hands, Libra, I want to tell you about uh, Shared Sentience Tarot. I think her channel is just Shared Sentience. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Somebody please help me in the comments if I'm not. But I'm going to post a link to her YouTube channel in the pinned comment below the video. If you guys like general readings, you guys will absolutely adore her. She does so many different topics and she's constantly putting out content. So you're always getting something from her. And she is just an amazing energy. She's an amazing person. And I know you guys are going to love her as much as I do. Okay, she's definitely fast became my favorite. So go check her out. Show her some love, please. And get into your reading all right Libra we have the wheel of fortune for their feelings their intentions we have the eight of pentacles their next actions and behaviors towards you we have the nine of pentacles the challenge between the two of you we have the page of cups and the potential outcome we have the two of wands at the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy, we have the Knight of Wands. I'm going to be very honest with you, okay? I do feel like somebody's moving back towards you. I feel like this is somebody you guys have dealt with in the past. I feel like somebody's coming back around, but I feel like they have a tendency to come back around. This person does, okay? So this next love coming towards you looks like it's somebody that you guys have dealt with in the past. And I feel like this is an on and off thing, okay? This is somebody who comes in and goes out. we got that Knight of Wands energy here. Very inconsistent energy, okay? So they could come in, give you a lot of attention, make it seem like things are going somewhere, and then I feel like they pull back, okay? It's just, it leaves you in a very unsure confused kind of space and i feel like it's been very you know on and off um, and i do feel like it's upset you in the past i think it's been very hard for you and i think it's got you to a space with this uh, nine of swords seven of pentacles where you're really asking yourself like is this really good for me to continue to invest into you know or should i kind of just not waste my time um i feel like that's the big question like is this person wasting my time again or not so i definitely feel like somebody's wanting to feeling like they're ready to move back towards you here their intention i feel like it's to give you a lot of attention okay the eight of pentacles like it's like you know what yep let me let me let's talk let's spend time together let me put time effort and energy into this um you know making you their focus for a while but at the end of the day it doesn't really look like much has changed because you go right from this eight to this nine and this nine of pentacles definitely a card of more like being single and independent so even though they're coming in and you know they're moving back towards you and they're giving you a lot of their effort their time their attention it's only to a certain um it's like a means to an end kind of an energy it's like they only expect it to go so far right um and i feel like some of you guys i feel like they just want to keep they want to know that the door is open they come in and put enough effort in just to keep the door open um and then they call and go off and do their thing here even here at the page of cups being the challenge whatever card is in the challenge position i do typically give it that reverse meaning um the page of cups in the reverse to me it can be very um you know, very disingenuine energy. So I feel like somebody could be like apologizing or saying things, but they're not being genuine. It's not coming from the heart, right? Like I just feel like, you know, somebody comes in when it suits them and to kind of keep the door open and to make sure that they still can kind of keep you from going anywhere. Um, so I would be cautious. I feel like ultimately you guys have the two wands. Two wands can really talk about, you know, should I continue to deal with what I'm doing with or should I go in a different direction? Some of you guys are definitely going to have a big decision to make about what you want to do here. Um, I feel like some of you guys are ready to kind of leave this behind. You're tired of dealing with the same old thing. Um, what do they say? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result, right? If you want something different, you got to do something different. And I feel like you're tired of that. You're tired of getting the same results and ending in the same way here. So that seven of pentacles, 
you know, I feel like you're really asking yourself, like, is this something that has anything changed? Is it going to be any different this time? Or am I better off just to kind of cut my losses and walk away here? You know, I do feel like it is hard on you to do because I feel like you do care about this person. You have the Ten of Cups. I think you have a lot of love for this person. I feel like at one time you really wish that it was going to turn into something more. You really wish that it was going to work out. But I feel like some of you guys are just being a lot, um, you're just being a lot more realistic about it these days here. Okay. So I do feel like you're going to have a big decision coming up. I, like I said, I don't feel like somebody's being very genuine here. So even though I feel like they are going to be, you know, reaching out and, you know, maybe flirting or apologizing, I just, whatever they're saying here, it's not that genuine. So even if they put, they're putting some time, effort and energy in right now, you know, it just doesn't look like it stays that way here. It looks like it goes right back to being all kind of about them and them being single. It's like they're not really doing it with the intention of moving things forward, right? Or moving towards a commitment here. And I feel like that's the important thing to remember. So the signs that I'm seeing for you got Sagittarius, Taurus, all the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. You have Virgo here a couple times, okay? So Virgo season could also be very significant for you. You have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aries. So those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any. And it can still resonate for you, even if I didn't name off the sign of the person that you're dealing with, okay? I wouldn't get too hung up on the signs. But that is what I have for you. I do hope it helps, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Now, if it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. And everything that you will need to know is in the description box below for you. If you want personal prayers for any reason, you guys, you can just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and then I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here, and I'll see you next time.